Hello, folks. Let me doing some fishing today. Probably gonna go for some walleye. And then might try some bass a little bit. Uh, it's early June. These fish have been in four to eight foot of water for the past couple weeks uh, since the walleye opener. But now all of a sudden they, they moved out to deeper water. What I'm fishing now, oh, there's one, is an underwater hump in 18 to 22 feet. Hey, there's a little bitty fish. Yeah, a little guy. Good to see them little ones in the system, though. That means that's good for the future of the lake. But these fish, they're not on top of this hump. This hump tops out at about 14 feet. And then there, it drops off to about 28 feet. And then off the kind of the point, it's 18 to 22 feet. And that's where these fish are positioned at. Another little one. Hey, he's a little bigger than the last one. But I'm sure there's st still some fish in the sh up in the shallow water, but the majority of them have started to move out to the deeper water. And the, since the weeds have not fully come up all the way, they just moved out to deeper water. They're not on the, the you know, weeds yet until they come up a little higher. So majority of these fish have, have moved out to these deeper humps. And then, like I said, they're not on top of the hump. They're more off the edge of it, out in that deeper water. And they're grouped up pretty good. You can see them on your graph pretty good. So not a bad fish. We'll get them back. So you can see I got my orange marker out and marked a group up. Oh, there's another one. They're thick in here. See what we got. And another little one. I was hoping some of the, the bigger fish would move out here to this deeper water, but I, I haven't found any yet. They seem to be the little old ones, but that's okay. Not a bad little fish. We'll get him back. Vertical jigging here with a jigging minnow. Early spring, I like to stick with just minnows. There's another one. Uh, no need to go to leeches or, or crawlers quite yet. Leeches might work, but at this point, I'm just sticking with minnows. Water still fairly cool. Another little guy. We'll take him. We'll get him back. But once some fish leave that shallow water in spring, go check them out in the deeper water. Well, the walleye are biting pretty good, but I got I gotta get my bass fixed. So I'm gonna go try for some bass for a little while. See what we can do. This is a time of year where we can, both of them are hitting pretty good, so I never know what to fish for. <laughs> I'm throwing a Senko here, one of my favorite lures, springtime or anytime, really. Uh, throw that a lot, and I throw a chicken crawl a lot, too. There he is. Oh, baby. All right. See what we got. Feels like a little guy, though. That's all right. Any bass is a fun bass to catch. Oh, he's jumping in. Jumping right at the boat. We'll get him in there. Eh, yeah, the little guy. Pretty fish. We'll get him back. Now these bass are real shallow. They're like two foot of water right now up against the pencil reeds. Cast it right up to the pencil weed edge. The new green pencil weeds that are coming up. There he is. A whole baby. Bam! 
I think this is a good one there. Oh yeah. Stay on. Whoa. Just hold it on here. This fish is bulldogging. Get the net. Man, these fish can fight. See if I can adjust this camera a little better. There we go. Come on, baby. I don't want to lose you now. Stay on. I got a 20 pound braid lined here with a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader on the end of it. Weightless Senko, no weight, just a plain hook and a Senko. Texas rigged. Whoa, come on, baby, let's get him. Uh, come on. Got him. All right. Nice fish. Thumbs up. We'll get him out of here and take a look at him. Nice thick one. Sometimes they get that single hook and they get it buried in there pretty good. Nice fish. Nice chunk. We'll get a picture of him and let him go. Pretty fish. Let's get him back. All right. Man, that makes your day right there. Well, I think I'm going back to the walleye. The walleye was biting so good. I'm going to go back. There's another one. Another walleye. Just can't seem to get the bigger ones today. All them little guys, but they're hitting. Get him back. Another one. Right off that marker. Using my transom mount trolling motor to move around. Uh, back trolling with that. It's a lot easier than using a bow mount. You can put that put your transom right in the wind and you can control your boat a lot better. Not a little guy. Just vertical jigging straight up and down. There's another one. Keeping that line as straight up and down as you can do it. Because a lot of these are light bites. A lot of times you don't even feel them peck it or tick it. Well, I, say, I mean, majority of times the crappie hits it harder than what 
these walleyes hit it. It's 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 a finesse bite. There he is. It's a technique that that's real simple. But it's hard to really master it because you really got to have a feel for the, what your jig's doing at all times. Another little guy. Get him back. And always be looking at your graphs. There he is. Now the little guy. Boy, they're stacked up though. Good looking fish. Let's get him back. There he is. Well, once you can locate him in the out in this deeper water, you can really tune into them and throw a marker out and usually try to stay on top of them. And just move, move, you know, back and forth around that your marker, mark, go, go through it back and forth. I try to, to move my boat at 0.3 around that neighborhood and less. Sometimes get up to like 0.5 miles an hour, but that 0.3 miles an hour seems to be about about right. There's another one. Otherwise, if you move any faster than that, you really need a heavier jig to keep your bottom contact. There he is. Nice one. Well, folks, we didn't catch any big ones today, but we caught a lot of them. Hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.